So, uh, so yes, this is my audition for the Ghost Walk Tour Guide of uh, the Ghost Rocks. I've been on a couple of them and I really do enjoy it, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, so this story takes place in my hometown of Scarborough. So when I was a little child, about six, seven, my parents would drop me off to my grandmother's house early in the morning so that way I, they can get a free babysitter. Um, and of course my grandma would love to spend time with me. So they dropped me off at around 7 a.m. in the morning. So the whole routine was they dropped me off, grandma would wake up, she'd let me in, and then she'd go back to sleep. Now because I was such a young kid and I really liked early mornings, I used to go and explore her house. And one of my favorite parts of her house was the basement. So take into account that I knew this house since the day I was born. My mom stayed there after she gave birth to me for a while. I knew this house very well. It was a safe haven for me. I never felt any sort of negative energy or I, the fact is I was just felt safe there. So I remember this one early morning, same routine, my parents dropped me off, grandma would let me in and she would go back to sleep and she'd wake up in a couple hours to get me some breakfast and whatnot. But I would be in her basement, I would stay in her basement and there were a couple of furnished bedrooms there and I would stay there and watch TV. So there was this one particular morning that I remember watching TV and all of a sudden the TV turns off by itself. And I thought that like, all right, whatever, it just probably will power out. So so I would, I would always hear someone walking down those stairs, but then walking back up the same sequence of stairs. So it didn't make sense because I didn't hear the back door open or anything. So that day, I just thought, I just thought that grandma was, I don't know, maybe looking for something. I thought it was very particular, and it was quite early for her to be waking up. So uh, when the TV shut off and I started hearing those uh, footsteps, I decided to just go check it out for myself. So I opened the bedroom door to which I was in and I walked towards the basement stairs. And lo and behold, at the very top of the sequence of steps that leads up from the basement to the door to the backyard, I see a woman. She looks like she's maybe in her 60s. She's wearing a white silk gown with a white robe. And she has this very, it's just a blank stare on her face and she's staring at me it's not like a glaring thing but she's just staring and her eyes had like a pinkish or red tinge to it and I asked her and I said hi um, I'm Phyllis's granddaughter um, how are you trying to make sense of it but she didn't say anything and she just kept on staring and when I learned or what I saw that when her head turned to the backyard that's when I took that opportunity to run back into the room and I stayed there until I heard my grandmother call me up for breakfast and just because of the time that I have, I did see her many times after that. But the unique thing about it is that I only saw her if I was at the bottom of the stairs at the basement looking up to the looking up at the stairs. Never when I was like in the main floor looking down the stairs. And I did see her many times before. And I never mentioned this to my grandmother. And my grandmother did live with uh, my aunt and my cousin at the time. And uh, they said that they never saw this woman and they lived there. So it was very particular as to why I would be the only one who would see her. It was very interesting and needless to say, I never went back to that basin alone again. Anyway guys, that's my story. Thanks very much for listening.